here is Dr. Alex Tennis, who told us that he can go out of his body and visit far away places and tell what's going on there. The brain waves are consistently different than when he's out, than when he's in. There must be a reason, it must again confirm, to some extent, the out of body hypothesis. Do you have a soul which can leave the body at the moment of death? You really want to know, do we have a soul or not? What will happen when we die? And right now, the doctor says no, the clergyman says yes, and the public is confused. The only way out is to do effective sober research, no dreaming about it, and find what the facts are and how the chips fall. And now, let's witness an experiment in astral projection. This computer-controlled installation produces five optical symbols and 80 impressions. They can only be observed by standing directly in front of a shielded peephole and looking directly through a special lens. Four rooms separate the volunteer from the testing personnel and read-off screen. The sequence of colors and figures is randomly determined by the computer. Neither the volunteer nor the tester knows which color, figure, or combination will come up next. Dr. Tannis concentrates while reclining in a darkened cell. Without leaving this room, he intends to transfer his soul to a space directly in front of the screen, observe the computer symbols, then safely return to his shell and relate what he sees in the other room. So take your time and come in and look at the first target. I'm now standing at the window, looking in. Very good. All right. Oh, now we have the target number one ready for you. Please take a good look. On the Dr. Tannis had right. difficulty projecting the first target, perhaps caused by the excitement of filming the experiment. If it is possible for a part of a being to operate independently of the physical body while the body is alive, then we can assume that this part could continue after the body has died. Now we have target number three, two, ready for you to please come. Lower left hand black arm. Very good. Now we have target number three for you. Please take a good look. Dr. Tannis correctly identified 90% of the targets. Lower, left hand, red bird. The odds of naming even a single